Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Hi guys, today we are going to see a problem based on torsion of multi cell cross section. Tutorial 1. Here comes the question Find the shear flow and twist per unit length of the two tube structure as shown in figure. Take g equals to 25 into 10 power 5 newton per centimeter square and thickness t equals to 0 0.1 centimeter. Now as you can see in this figure here we have two cell structure with the dimensions given and the torque is t equals to 10,000 newton centimeter. Let's see the solution. Here this is a problem where torque is given. Let A, B, C and F consider as cell 1 and C, D, E, F as cell 2. Now let's find the area of cell 1 and 2. We can find A1 equals to 10 cross 10. So we are getting 100 cm square and A2 is 10 cross 20. We are getting 200 cm square. Now let's recall the breadth breadth of theory. According to multi cell cross section, we know that T equals to summation of 2QA. So this can be written as T equals to 2Q1A1 plus 2Q2A2 since we have two cells. So let's substitute the value of each component. T equals to 10,000 equals to 2 into Q1 into 100 and 2 into Q2 into 200. Now let's simplify this equation and we get as Q1 plus 2Q2 equals to 50. Let's name as equation number 1. Now here we know that the compatibility condition that beta 1 equals to beta 2 that is twist per unit length of each cell are equal. Now recalling the beta 1 formula beta 1 equals to 1 by 2 a1 t g close integral of q ds. Here t is outside because the thickness of each members are same or constant. Now applying this integral q ds. Here q inside this q we have q1 everywhere now let's start from this a point so when we are starting from the a point now a b shear flow is q1 and what is the length 10 so q1 into 10 then b c this is q1 again and what is the length 10 here then comes c and f when you are finding C and F, what is happening? Here we have a Q1 and here we have Q2. And from here, this Q2 is directing upward and here Q1 is directing downward. Now here we are finding beta 1 and beta 1 is with, this with respect to 1. So what we are going to do is we are going to find the CF. So Q1 minus Q2 of this length. And then FA. F is again Q1 and into what the length is 10. Simplifying that we get as beta 1 equals to 1 by applying the value of A1 200 Tg opening the bracket 40 Q1 minus 10 Q2. Name this equation as equation 2. Similarly, we are going to find the beta 2. This is a general formula for beta 2. Now we are going to find for each QS. Now let's start from this segment. Let's start from the point C. So here we have that Q2. The length is 20. So Q2 into 20. Now DE. This is Q2 and DS for DE is 10. The distance for EF is 20, so Q2 into 20. 
and here again f to c we are finding with respect to the sale to so we are going to subtract q2 minus q1 because here in cf is a common wall to both the one and the two structure when we are finding the twist per unit length for that we are giving focus on this q2 with respect to q1 so that's why q2 minus q1 and the length is 10 so into 10 so by simplification we got as applying the value of a2 a2 equals to 200 so 1 by 400 tg open the bracket 60 q2 minus 10 q1 name this as equation as equation 3 now as per our condition beta 1 equals to beta 2 now simplifying those two beta 1 and beta 2 equation which we got it from equation 2 and 3 now again simplifying cancelling of the common terms t and g and by simplifying we got that q1 equals to that is 40 by 45 q2 now name this equation as equation 4 now recalling the equation 1 that is q1 plus 2 q2 equals to 50 now substitute the value of this 4 in equation 1 then we get that q2 equals to 17.3 newton per centimeter now here again what you have to do this value you substitute in the same equation to find the value of q1 then we get this similarly q1 equals to 15.38 newton per centimeter another thing we have to find that twist per unit length now twist per unit length is same in cell 1 as well as cell 2 so we are denoted by the letter beta now take any one of the equation let's take equation 2 beta 1 equals to 1 by 200 tg 40 q1 minus 10 q2 now substitute the value of q1 and q2 so we get as beta equals to 8.84 into 10 power minus 6 radian per centimeter so as per our question we have obtained both the shear flow at q1 and q2 as well as the twist per unit length that is beta so this is the shear flow diagram for this multi-cell structure thank you for watching this video if you have further inquiry or requested video drop down to our mail wings of arrow at the rate gmail.com don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.